Today I'll be giving you an overview of Google Local Services ads. I'll be showing some examples of exactly what they look like, how you are charged if you are running Google Local Services ads, which businesses they are good for, and how to see if you are eligible. So let's get started by going over what Google Local Services ads actually are. So they're advertisements on the search engine results pages for local business owners to actually promote their services to customers in the areas that they serve. So if we come over here and we do a quick just look at Home Inspector, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So what I get here are two different businesses that are showing and you can see right at the very top, this is it, they're showing Google Guaranteed. If I click on more Home Inspectors, what we can actually see is all of the different local services ads that are running. It looks like there are three different Home Inspectors running local services ads right here. The one cool thing is this Google Guaranteed. It says get it done right or Google pays you back. So that basically means Google is screening all these businesses, which I'll go through in a minute. Google is screening all these businesses. So if you're also somebody who's just looking for a service, then you know that by going through Google local services ads, you actually are looking at a business that has been screened and has passed a background check from Google. So let's come back over here. We'll go through the ads in a little bit of, in some detail a little bit later. And the other thing I want to go through are all the different businesses these can be used for. So if we're looking in the United States here, I'm not going to go through each individual country. What you can do is look for your business type to see if you're eligible for local services. Now, what I always recommend if I'm working with a client or somebody asks, am I eligible for this? Just simply fill out the eligibility form because there's no downside for Google to say, no, you're not eligible. So I honestly don't know for the most part whether or not you're going to be eligible unless your business is listed here for the country you're located in. So come over to the eligibility, enter your business and give some information and see if you are eligible for local services ads. They are really a, a great way to drive more leads for your local business. So quickly going through some of the different options here, there's a huge list of all the different types of businesses that can create local services ads. If you are any of these businesses, you should absolutely sign up and see if you can drive some more leads. Now let's get over here and go over a few more things as far as how to create them. First, like I said, check eligibility. So just fill out that form, fill out that information and see if you are eligible. From there, you're gonna create a local service ad business profile. So it's separate from your normal Google business profile and I'll go through one in a little bit. Uh, one of the local businesses by me that is running these ads. Then provide proof that your business is licensed and insured. You're gonna undergo a background check. This is usually through a third party, not Google. They work with a company that's gonna do a background check. And then once you're approved, you can set up your ads and set your budget. You do have a lot of control in terms of how much you want your budget to be every single month. So if you say, you know what, I wanna spend $500 on local services ads, the way that you're actually charged is you are going to be paying per lead. So that means every phone call, every time someone fills out a form directly from Google, you are going to be charged for that lead. So it becomes very, very important that you answer the phone and that you reply to every single customer that's filling out your form because you're paying for these leads. So the cost per lead is generally gonna be around 20 to $50 from things that I've seen. Really depends on the industry. I think there is a study where somebody said the average cost was $23. I would assume that cost has increased over time because the overall competition for these ads has increased over time. Can range really anywhere from $5 to $90 depending on the industry and the location. Obviously, if you're like a attorney, you're gonna be paying a little bit more than somebody who is, you know, for example, providing lawn care services, just because it's gonna be a much larger client in most cases. Now, you only pay for qualified leads and you can actually dispute bad leads. So if someone calls you wrong phone number, if somebody gives you a message and the message is not relevant to what you're actually offering, you can actually dispute those leads with Google. So that's another good thing to keep in mind is that you're gonna get uh, leads all the time that are gonna come like this. New call from a potential customer, a potential customer called you on a specific, t uh, on a specific time at a specific date. And then if we look over here, you're also gonna get potential customers sent you a new request. So you're gonna get different types of leads that come in and you actually get an, a mobile app. So it's the Google Local Services Ads mobile app where you can actually follow up with your customers or you'll get all of this online as well. So whether you're on a computer or you work from your phone all day, you can easily follow up with customers and have those phone calls come directly to your cell phone. So let's come over here real quick to kind of round out this video and go over a few different examples. The very first thing I would recommend is if you're not sure, just come fill out this eligibility form. I'll put this form in the video description so you can easily find it. Then what you wanna do is, we'll look at a few different examples here. So I did home inspector, 
got some local services ads. Did dentist near me. I didn't get any. I got some search ads. So I'm surprised I didn't get any. It may just be they didn't show any for this specific result. Maybe these, uh, maybe they're out of the budget for the day or something like that. Maybe they used all their lead budget. Now, the other thing is the example I did was plumber near me. So obviously, if you're a plumber, you want these leads. So you could see plumber near me. Now, what I could do is come here directly and click on this profile. Or we'll click on more plumbers and you can actually see some of these different plumbers that are running these ads. You can see the little green check mark on the left hand side. Now, if you're run wondering what this actually means with the green check mark, so we'll come over and we'll just get this directly from Google's page. Scrolling down, you're going to see what services do you offer. So this is what you're able to do. And then these are the three different badges. Google guaranteed, Google screened, and license verified by Google. So Google guaranteed in the home services industry, you're eligible for a Google guaranteed badge. Basically, it says potential customers, you are a screened and qualified Google backed business, earns you trust right away, et cetera, et cetera. Google screened, if you're in the business care learning wellness industry, you're eligible for a Google screen badge. Tells customers you're fully licensed and a vetted Google backed business. Last but not least, license verified by Google if you're in the healthcare industry. So you're eligible for a license verification Google badge. Tells your clients that Google has verified your license to provide your healthcare service. So all three of these different badges basically just give you a little bit more of a reputation and allows people to say, you know, I can trust this business because they have done a background check. It's also good to know as a consumer because if you're looking for services in your local area, having Google actually verify licenses, having Google screen different businesses, having a Google guaranteed badge basically says, okay, I can trust this business more than a business that doesn't have this. Not that you can't trust them, but just another way to make sure that you're spending your money in the right place. So again, if we come back over here to plumbing, you're going to see plumbing uh, zip code here, choose a service. So if we change this, we're probably going to get different ads. But if we click on Vines Plumbing and Water Restoration, this is a company near me. They have a few different locations near me, but if you could see right here, this is their Google local service ad profile. So we have business name, phone number here, so share, but keep scrolling down, overview, you can see Google guaranteed, get it done right, or Google pays you back. 20 plus bookings nearby, past license check, past background check, has business insurance. We have hours, we have phone number, we have all of these services and the areas that they serve. Some different details here, so eco-friendly, family owned, etc. Google review summary, so make sure that you have positive reviews as well. Then they have a list of all the different services they offer. now. Uh, I, I've actually used Google local service ads for keyword research because you can see all these different keywords that are here as well. You can click on the reviews, you can click on photos. So basically you have this profile that's just there to build trust and try to drive more phone calls, try to drive more leads directly for your business. If I call them right now, they are going to be charged for that phone call. So obviously I am not going to call them, but the way that it works is every time that somebody calls them, or if we scroll down and we look at dependable service plumbing and air, I can message them. They're going to be charged for that message, or I can book directly for them with them. They're going to be charged for that as well. If I message them right now and say something that's completely unrelated to dependable service plumbing and air, then they're going to say this was not a qualified lead and they can dispute that lead. And basically what Google is going to do is look at all the different disputes you have and either approve or deny your disputes. So those are pretty much an overview of Google local services ads. You definitely want to get started with them. It just gives you a lot of control over how much you're paying per lead, especially when we come over here and looking at the costs associated with cost per lead. This is very low compared to a Google ads campaign or a Bing ads campaign. So a lot of times it's going to be hard to beat that $20 per lead. So if you have an, a service business or any type of local business and you're able to create these, I would highly recommend getting started, going over to the eligibility form, signing up, and then going through the entire process and getting started. You can set your own budget. If the leads are too expensive, you could always turn these ads off. If the leads are coming in at a really good price, you could always increase your monthly budget. So you have a lot of customize. You're able to customize your overall strategy. Very easy to get set up. You don't need a company to run these for you. You can run these yourself. And then it really just comes down to make sure when you are getting leads that you are answering those leads. There's nothing worse than getting leads, not answering them. And then you're getting charged for leads that you're not actually turning into customers. So these are local services ads from Google. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.